Hello crafters, my name is Sina, I'm head of design of Victoria Designs and if you like Christmas and all things shabby, we have another crafting kit for you. The Christmas in Pink Crafting Printables Kit. In this kit you can find 24 journal pages, 20 full sheets with papers and 15 sheets with embellishments. In this video Christy will show you how to make the journal and the photofolio with the printables of this kit. Christy has her own YouTube channel where you can find even more beautiful crafting tutorials but also organization tutorials for your craft supplies. The link to her channel is below, definitely check it out. If you'd like to make these crafting projects with the printables of our Christmas in Pink kit, you can find some more information on how to get it, how much it costs, etc. in the link below. And now I'm going to give the word to Christy. Enjoy! For this project we are going to need chipboard for the cover and I will use two pieces of six by eight and a half. One piece that is five and three quarters by eight and a half and one piece that is one and a half by eight and a half and one piece that is one inch by eight and a half for the cover i printed three papers and we're going to put them together so we can glue the chipboard pieces on top. When you have the chipboard cut, you will notice that one is one quarter of an inch less. This piece will be last on the right side. And these two are going to be right here first. Then we are going to have two pieces. And this one is one and a half wide. We are going to put it up here. And this one is one inch that will be right here. So this is the way that we are going to glue them. And for the first paper, you are going to cut just on this side. Now that we have cut this side, we are going to glue this one on top of the second paper. And it's going to be like about half of an inch. And now that we have the pieces together, I'm going to start gluing. And I will start with this one on the edge. I didn't cut this side. Can you see i didn't cut this side and i will start gluing this one right here i like to put the ruler to align this corner right here and see that i'm leaving one quarter of an inch i'm going to put the piece right here then i'm going to put the next piece right here and i'm going to leave one quarter of an inch and I had to press this one straight so my piece can be exactly at the same level. And here is the last one that I'm going to put it straight right here. And for the last page, I'm going to cut half of an inch right here. Now you're going to glue one inch right here behind the last one. As you can see, I have that tape there. And I will fold this one on the side. And I can glue this one right here. Now I will leave one quarter of an inch and I will place the last page right here. Now I'm going to cut right here in the center of this. And after I cut both sides, I'm going to cut the corners right here. And I need to leave like about one eighth of an inch up here to cover the thickness of the chipboard. Now I'm going to start folding the long sides first and I have to fold this paper like this before I glue it so I'm going 
going to put that tape and for that I'm, I use this one inch tape and I'm going to put it straight on the bottom then right here in this side I like to press to the inside of this indent and then right here put a straight and then again I have to go down And now we are going to take this one and I'm going to start folding the paper and I'm going to press this corner down and right here I press to the inside then this one too. Now that I have this, I'm going to do this short side. Now I have this one done and I'm going to fold it this way. This one will go like this and this one on top. Now for the inside of the cover, I printed this paper and I have three of the, the same. And two of them I'm going to cut at five and three quarters by eight and a half. And the other one is going to be five and a half by eight and a half. And I have the three pieces that I mentioned. And I'm going to use these two pieces from the scraps and they measure eight and a half. And I will put this one first. And I'm going to fold the paper first with your finger. Okay, then you can grab this one, the bone folder, and make the shape right here. Then this one too. We need to glue this one all the way down. Now we are going to put tape, and I'm going to get all the tape. And now I'm going to place this one right here and press and now we need to push the paper down. Same here. And this is how it looks, see? So beautiful. When you fold the papers, it looks very nice. Now we're going to do the same thing up here. Now these parts are ready. And before we glue these pieces, we are going to cut flaps that open on the sides. And we are going to glue it right here on each of these sides. And for those flaps, I printed these papers and i made it double-sided i chose these two and i printed six of them because there will be six flaps and i'm going to cut four papers at six and three quarters by eight and a half and two papers at six and a half by eight and a half 
Now I have two flaps for each panel right here and I'm going to score at half of an inch and then at three quarters of an inch on the left side and on the other paper is going to be on the right side. So we are going to glue this one right here like this. And as you can see right here, it's going to be half of an inch and then a three quarters of an inch. And on this side, the score lines are going to be right here, but it has to be the same. So I'm going to put it upside down and I will score at half of an inch and then at three quarters of an inch. And I have the same dimensions right here for both for both flaps. See? And these pages are going to be exactly the same size of the cover and we need to glue right by the edge right here of the chipboard piece and this one right here at the end of the chipboard piece so it's going to be exactly the same size now i'm going to show you the first panel and we will do the same to the other ones We have to glue this one right by the edge. Now this one too. Now this one is going to be on this side. And you have to align with the edge of the first chipper. And don't forget to align the top and bottom too. See? Now, you just press. And when you have that done, you are going to grab one of the pages that we cut before. Remember that you have one smaller and that will go to the end. And I will glue this paper in the center right here. You have to pull the flaps and you will see what is the center. And you have to look at the lines right here. This one is going to be like about leaving one eighth of an inch on each side. And it will be like that. And now the flaps will look like this. See? You open to one side, open to the other, and then you have cover right here. And you have one quarter of an inch right here on each side. And now we will do the same to these two panels. Now it would look like this. Can you see? Two flaps on each panel. And then right here and here. Now we're going to put the waterfall mats right here in the center. And for that, I printed six papers like this. It has 
one color on one side and another color on the other side and it had to be a pattern that can be this way can you see and we are going to cut four mats out of this paper and the size of the mats are going to be four by five and one quarter and i'm going to show you how to do it um, because the printing can you see this one is thinner and this one is bigger you had to be careful and look in the other side too so you had to cut where you see the bigger white size first okay don't cut up here or you have a white edge on here that's why you have to start on the bigger white side and cut it out I'm going to cut this one right here. See, I get the white side and on the other side it's fine. Then I'm going to do the same on one of the sides right here. This is very thin in both sides. So I'm going to cut that. Now that I have the paper like this, I'm going to cut, I'm going to turn this one and cut right here on this edge that we already cut at four. Now I'm going to cut at four and then the other one too at four. now i have these two that measures four and these are fine can you see no white sides now i'm going to cut at five and one quarter each of these see i have a mat that is four by five and one quarter and it's double sided then I'm, i'll do the same with this one See both sides and this one. Five and one quarter. And this. I'm going to score half of an inch on one side of each of these mats. now this is how we glue these mats right here we are going to start at the bottom and we are going to measure half of an inch right here you can um, make a mark right here at half of an inch and then you're going to start gluing each mat one on top of each other for example right here this one will be the first one at half of an inch and it's very important that the first one is aligned at the bottom with half of an inch and the same dimension on the sides so your mats can go straight to the top and you're going to put glue on the next one and you're going to glue right there see on top of the first one and you have to keep looking that they are straight then the next one and now i'm going to do fast forward so you can see how i do it
Now I printed three papers like this and just one side and I'm going to cut in four and the size is going to be a three and a half by five and one quarter. We are going to make four mats and we are going to glue right here on the sides and it's going to look like this. And as you can see, this one doesn't have glue. So I'm going to just center it between the line right here. And it's like about one quarter of an inch. And now I'm going to put this one right here and have the same dimension in between. And I have to leave the same dimension on the side. And on the top. See? That's how you align. And now we have to do this side. Now, as you can see, I have the mats on both sides and I have the waterfall mats right here and it's just close like this and I did the same to the other two. See, be careful right here because this one is a little small and you have to be careful right here on this side. It's going to be a little bit less, but um, you have to center it the same way. See? And the mats that I'm going to cut are going to be five by seven and they are going to be in this area right here. Now I have the mats and these are five by seven and they are going to be placed here. But before we glue this one, we are going to put magnets behind so we can close and put another magnet right here to hold the flaps right here. Now we are going to attach the magnet right here before we glue the mat and i just place one of the magnets there aligning to the center right here then you're going to place the mat on top And we are going to close this page and you have to align straight the sides and the top and bottom. Then you're going to get the other magnet and you're going to place it. So I'm going to glue right here. And again, I have to make sure that it's straight. So my magnet stays there. And I did the same to the other ones. Now they are attached and they don't open. Can you see? They don't open. Now for the front, I printed these papers and I'm going to print three because this one goes vertically. And I need to cut this one at four and three quarters by seven. I decided to put a mat that is one quarter of an inch bigger and these mats are five by seven and one quarter. And I'm going to place the mat on top in the center. I just align and then I just press. Now I'm going to glue the other mats and then we are going to embellish the book. Now we are going to embellish the pages and I'm going to start with the inside. Right here I have an embellishment and I'm going to glue just on these two sides right here so you can slide a picture. And I'm going to do that. I will 
um, glue the girl right here and half of the girl and then right here her legs and you can see on this side if you want to see where and I think it's enough and I will glue the girl right here then right here I have a snowflake and I put this brad in the center and I'm going to glue right here and I'm going to place that on this side Then on this side, I use my dice and I cut this shape and I'm going to put it up here in the center and I'm going to place it right here. Then I have these embellishments and I will glue this one on top then this one will go like this and this image right here then another snowflake it will go on top right here And this is how it looks see and this side looks like this now I'm going to embellish the other two and this is how it looks see I'm going to do the front and for that the first thing that I'm going to put is um, the ribbon to make the closure then I'm going to cover the spine with this lace
now i'm going to put up here a frame and for that i cut this piece i play with my dice and i make this frame you cut three papers of the same size and then you cut the first one very thin this one has one quarter of an inch after you have the first window you place the other die and make another shape and then in the third layer you put a smaller die and then you have your frame ready that looks like this and i'm going to place it like this then i'm going to put this label and this one is from the paper collection and it says christmas time that will go right here then i'm going to put these bells this is an embellishment from the the kit and that will go in the center then i'm going to put three flowers on top and this one i will um glue it right here now the folio is done and as you can see i put the flowers right here and one of them is um dimensional i put um foam tape on this one then i put a die cut across right here and i finish the ribbon on the other side and i put another snowflake on top then inside i added these parts right here these are two mats and these are three and a half by four and a half and the white mat that goes behind is three and three quarters by four and three quarters then i added another poncetia right here and i glue with dimensional tape only in the center then i added this pearl right here so you can um, remember that there is an opening right here and space for lots of pictures see and this is when you open it looks like this flower on the left corner center and then on the right corner and this is done now i wanted to add something on the side and i made a tassel and it's this one right here a pom-pom tassel and i use uh, this pom-pom trim um, ribbon fibers um, tool can you see the tool and just a few things that make your tassel fluffy and then uh, you can add two pom-poms and you can attach to the lobster closure right here and for the hanging i made this little ribbon and i added one ring and i'm going to glue this one right here right here you can add a tassel on the ring and this is how it looks and i just used the full pages of the collection christmas in pink from victoria designs we are going to make the journal and for that we need two pieces of chipboard for the cover and this one measures five and one quarter by seven and three quarters then i have one piece for the spine and it measures one and a half by seven and three quarters and to put this together i'm going to use white cardstock and i cut two pieces and they measure seven and a half by ten so the first thing is to glue this together and you can do at half of an inch or maybe three quarters of an inch if you want now i'm going to put this one in the center and when i glue the sides after i uh, glue the spine i like to leave one quarter of an inch because that's enough space for um opening and closing without uh, ripping your paper and i didn't center my papers very well and look i have like about a half of an inch here but 
I'll try to glue on this side and that's okay because we're going to put another paper on top and now I'm going to fold this one and I'm going to glue now I'm going to cut right here so I can fold to the inside right here and also I have to cut this the corners now I'm going to put that tape remember to push this one to the inside then again And I press this one. And you should have the paper like this. And when your cover is ready, we are going to use the color paper. I chose this pattern and I uh, printed two pages. And I will cut them at six and a half by seven and a half. And I'm going to glue them right here. But before I glue them uh, on the um, cover, I'm going to fold right here. So I can glue this one inside. Now my cover is done and as you can see right here, this is how it looks in the inside and when you close, it closes very nice. See? Now we are going to um, glue the paper on the outside and for that I chose this paper. 
and I'm going to cut at five by seven and a half. And this is how it looks, see? Now we are going to make the spine. And for the spine, I cut this paper. And this paper is four inches by seven and three quarters. And as you can see, I already uh, put on the um, spine and I center it. And then I fold the corners right here, see? So it's going to be like this. And then I cut two pieces of gold paper and I use my punch to make that edge. And then this one is going to be underneath. See? And this one is for the other side. And I'm going to make something fancy right here using this sheer ribbon. And this is about two yards of ribbon. Um, I didn't want to use lace for this um, journal, but I want something that looks cute, right? And I'm going to use the eyelets in white. And I divided in five um, spaces. I left half of an inch, half of an inch, and then I divided in five. And now I'm going to mark where I'm going to place the, um, the eyelets. And it's going to be like about half of an inch. So I will mark right here the dots where the eyelids will go. Same in the other side. I'm going to um, align on my grid. Then I'm going to put this one like about half of an inch on top. And I'm going to make the mark for the eyelid. Now I'm going to use my crocodile to punch the holes. Now I'm going to add the eyelets. Now we are going to add a ribbon and this is like about two yards and I put tape on the ends so I can pass it through. And we are going to do like this, okay? We are going to do like this. We find a center and we are going to start right here. Then in the other side, now I center my ribbon and I'm going to continue. I will go this way. Now this one to the other side. Now that you have the X, we are going to continue and we go up one um, hole up.
and this one the same. And fix it right here so it can go straight. See? Now you have to cross again. Now we go in, we go up again. Then we are going to do the same thing now. Now we go up and then we cross. Now we finish right here. Now we have the ribbon right here crossing on top of the spine and this one will go here, see? And we are going to put this one on the side right here so it can look like this when we glue. See, very nice, right? So now we're going to finish on this one. We just need to make sure that everything is straight. And for example, right here. Now we are going to cut 
we can use this piece for a tag now we put a little bit of tape here and we hold this piece right here and we're going to do the same on the other side and we just glue this one and we are going to put an, another tape for this one too See, now it's secure, these three. Now I'm going to use this tape and I'm going to attach the gold part right here. If you measure from here to here, it's about half of an inch. Same in the other side. Now we are going to add the other piece. Now this is ready to attach right here and I'm going to use this um, fabric tack. Now I cover it with a fabric tack glue and I'm going to attach this one to my cover. And this is how it looks. Now my cover is ready and we are going to do the pages. Here are the papers for the journal. And after you cut the border and you fold it, they measure five by seven and a half. And I made three signatures. And as you can see, I printed um, some of the pages and I combine with these uh, white papers, the copy papers. And as you can see, I cut the border of some of the pages. So you can see how many pages you have. And in this case, I only have two. And then again, another printed paper. And what I did to embellish this one is using a stencil. These are the stencils that I use. <laughs> these are like for kids and you can find in a dollar store. I, and it comes like six um, different shapes and I just use the distress oxide and sponge sugar color and I also use this one is uh, the distress ink and worn lipstick I'm gonna show you how I made it I think I have a, a white space right here and I'm going to show you how I made it you just put this one, it's super easy and looks very delicate. And after you place that, the stencil, you just um, get some ink and try to reach the center of the spaces first. Like this. Then the borders.
and I play with these two colors and I'm going to use this one now. Um, this is a little bit darker. So I'm going to do right here, this part. And after that, I made with a border, I made like lines, just a little bit. And same here. And after that, you take the stencil and you have a beautiful image right like a stamp and it's using just these um simple stencils can you see so i played um and i made um different stamps as you can see right here snowflakes and right here i'm going to make a snowflake and you just put the stencil the way you want and you have to be careful because um, if you go out of the line, then you will smudge the edges. So you have to start in the center and then carefully do the, the outside right here. And because this one is darker, I don't need to rub too much. I just pass a little bit. And there you have it. See? And as you can see, right here I have a few smudges. But it's okay because everything is pink. And up here I have a Christmas tree that I made with this one and it looks gorgeous see and yeah most of them are snowflakes and uh, another thing that I already added is this one right here this is a vellum paper and it was an eight and a half by eleven this is just half of the paper and I just fold it in half and I put it on a embossing folder. And after I emboss the paper, I just open. I'm going to show you right now. And I grab my um, white ink pad. And you just rub on top. And then you have a little bit of um, color and you can see better the image of the snowflakes. Can you see? So beautiful. So you can put anything on top. You can put a photograph. You can put a picture. You can put a tag or something. And it looks very nice. So those are the things that I'm adding to these um, pages. And then I'm going to play with all the embellishments that comes in the collection. And I just added one extra paper. And it's this one that has um, Christmas music. And then I also added um, doily. So we can glue any tag or any picture right here and it looks very nice see and i'm going to add one envelope to each of these and i'm using two envelopes for this project and as you can see the envelopes are like this and you will do this one one of them you are going to uh, fold to the back and you're going to um, put this one like this and 
we are going to put this one together like this then we're going to close this flap right here and we are going to open and we are going to close this flap right here now we press and you can cut a little bit on the top and you will have two pockets with a top loading look top loading right here and you can put that for example right here and you can put tags or anything right here see now for this one i'm going to cut on the sides and i'm going to have a side um loading pocket see now you have the opening here and also right here see this one will open on the side now these are ready and we are going to bind them and for the binding, I cut a piece that is one and a half by seven and a half. And that will match the cover right here. When I put the paper, it will match right here. And I'm going to use a scrap of paper and the same size. And we are going to fold this paper then we are going to fold again and again. And now when we open, we are going to mark with a pencil the center of those folding sides. And we are going to use anything. It can be a needle, it can be a, this tool, a poking tool. And we are going to make holes. And then we are going to measure right here because this is one and a half we are going to measure on the top at three quarters of an inch and you mark three quarters of an inch then right here is going to be a three eighths and then right here a one and one eight see three eighths three quarters of an inch and one and one eight and you're going to do the same thing on the other side you mark right here, three eighths, then at three quarters of an inch and one and one eighth. When you have that, you are going to get this one because it's the same size. And we are going to hold from one of the marks to the other one. And we are going to mark the, the dots for And we are going to make the marks for making the holes right here. See, can you see? And then do the same with the, the next one and with the last one. And then you will have right here all the marks. Now for this piece, we are going to just punch in those marks that we made we don't fold anything we just make the marks now we have the holes right here and we can erase this one after you have erased it will look like this and it's ready for adding the pages now we are going to make the holes using this template and each of the signatures 
And now I'm going to use embroidery thread and one needle. It's a ball tip needle and this one is not too thick. Now we get one of these. And we have it ready. Now we are going to arrange all of the papers together because there are different sizes and we, we have to put them correctly. Right here, I have um, this one I want in the center, so I move this one. So you have to arrange all of the papers the way you want. And now you put this one, the template on top. And you're going to use anything to make the holes. This is a hole piercing. And I just push. Can you see? And I have all the holes. Now I'm going to start right here and we are going to grab this piece and we are going to start right here on the first and uh, on the first hole and then we are going to continue. And pull this um, thread until you have the size of the page. Then you are going to continue and go down. Now I'm going to start right here. Now we go down to the next hole and we just pass the needle. Now we are going to go back. We go back to this one and into this hole right here in the center. Now we are going to pull the thread and we are going to measure right here. And we are going to tie these two on the top right here. You make a double knot and you just leave these hanging and it looks very nice and we are done with the first signature now we are going to add the other two signatures
now this is how it looks see and i have the signatures ready attached to the binding and i'm going to glue this one right here in the center and it's going to look like this and for that i'm going to use fabric tack and i'm going to attach to the cover and because it's the same size you just need to make sure it's in the center see now you open on the sides right here and press and that's it now we are done with the binding see now we are going to um make something special for these um, sides of the cover see these two sides and then we are going to embellish on the journal now for this side i decided that i'm going to add um list pad i use copied papers and i cut 20 of these pieces that measures two and three quarters by six and then i staple them together right here and that's going to be my list pad and i'm going to embellish right here with another paper and i will also add these um, memo pads and i'm going to add a pen on the side and for this the first thing is that i'm going to decorate the back and i love this doily so i'm going to glue this doily right here I use this um, paste glue to glue this doily right here. Now I'm going to add the um, cardstock that goes on top right here to make the pocket. And for the pocket, I'm going to use a piece of cardstock. And this one measures four and a half by seven and a half. And I'm going to score at half of an inch and then one eighth of an inch more. Can you see? One eighth of an inch more. So half of an inch and one eighth of an inch more. Same up here. Half of an inch, starting right here, half of an inch and one eighth of an inch. Then you're going to turn the paper to this side and you're going to score at two and a half and then one eighth of an inch more. See? And we are going to fold this. And the first thing that you're going to do is to cut right here on this eight of an inch. All the way to the first line. Then we are going to do the same thing on the other side. We cut over there and then we are going to fold the one eight of an inch. See? now we are going to cut this one down like this and we are going to cut right here this uh, piece right here and you have like this see you have folded this one to the back and you have right here one eighth of an inch then you're going to fold this one to the back and fold that one eighth of an inch then this one too can you see you have this part up here with one eighth of an inch and this one too see so you have double pocket that measures one eighth of an inch each one now we are going to cut another piece and this one measures one and one eighth of an inch 
and we are going to fold at half of an inch on each side so we can have the eight of an inch right here and we are going to glue this piece right here after the eight of an inch right here at the bottom we are going to glue right here and we just glue right here right after the one eight of an inch now we fold this one and you can glue this one to the back right here it's going to be easier just a little bit on the sides see so you can glue this one right here now we are going to attach these two right here and we have to make the shape straight right here at the bottom and we are going to glue these two you can cut a little bit right here then you add you add glue Then you just glue this one to the top. And do like this. It had to be straight at the bottom. Now this double pocket, it's ready and we can glue right here these three sides on top right here and we have to um, leave room right here for the pen so you can center it and now you can try with the list pad right here and if you want you can make a mark right here so you know where you're going to glue i'm going to glue this one right here and you can use your ruler to press down And now I'm going to decorate that with these two um, pockets. And I like the images and they are almost the same size as this space. And I'm going to cut them. I need to cut a little bit less. And it's going to be like about here. I cut these two images and this one is exactly um, for the size right here or the bottom but this one I just cut on these two sides and this is the flap that was down but I'm going to glue all the way inside and it will look like this see
Now the list pad is ready and I'm going to attach the pen right here. Now for attaching the pen, I cut this piece that is uh, one inch by three. And you just measure the size of your pen and you can make a little bit loose, not too tight. And we are going to start gluing. See, you just um, put this one right here. Can you see the pen is loose? So I'm going to start now gluing the rest of the paper. And after you are done, you are going to put the pen and see where you want this one. And you press this one down to make it a little bit flat at the bottom. And now you are going to add glue. And can you see? It's a little bit flat. Now I'm adding glue. And I'm going to put in the center right here. And after you put your pen, you have to press very well and let it dry. And this is how it's going to look. And now on the other side, we're going to make a pocket right here to put cards, to put um, anything. And I printed two papers. As you can see, this is one uh, side of the whole paper. And this one is cardstock. And I cut this one right here at four by six and a half. And that's okay with these parts because we're going to fold it to the back. And this one is six and a half by six and a half. So I have those two pieces. And this piece is four and a half by ten and a half. Now we are going to make the um, score lines to fold this into a pocket. And for that, I'm going to grab my scoreboard. And let's get this one first. This one is going to be the flap, the closest, and I'm going to score this one at three and a half. Three and a half, three and three quarters, and four. See, now we are going to fold those score lines. And we have the flap for the top and we will have the the flap from the top side and now we're going to do the pockets with these papers and we are going to do the same measurements on the sides so you're going to score at half of an inch at three quarters of an inch and at one and we fold the paper to the other side and we do the same thing half of an inch three quarters of an inch and one we do the same thing on these two sides right here half of an inch three quarters of an inch and one then turn to the other side and we are going to score on the same score lines at the bottom right here we are going to score half of an inch and then one eighth of an inch more and same here half of an inch 
in one eighth of an inch more see that's for the bottom part and yeah that's it we're going to put together now we are going to fold these papers and for this part up here we are going to fold these two like an accordion see like this and we are going to do that to all the sides Now that we are done with this part, we are going to fold the bottom. See, and we should have one eighth of an inch at the bottom. And same here. See? Now we are going to start with this part right here. We are going to cut straight right here until the first line and then right here too. See? Now we do the same up here on this one. We are going to start gluing. On this part up here, this is going to be the back. We are going to glue this piece like this. See? And this one in the back. So we have to start right here. So we are going to start right here with these two parts. And we put glue here. only in the half of an inch. Don't put glue in the in the folding side, okay? And now we are going to put on top of the folding side and we are going to add this one. And after you have these two sides glue, we're going to fold this one like this and glue right here. Now we glue this part up here and we can use the ruler and we can use the ruler to press. But you have you have to have the eight of an inch. And that's for the thickness of um, the things that you're going to put in here. Now, if you want, you can punch a cir half circle right here. Now, I'm going to mark right here in this paper so I can punch the same size in there now i'm going to glue this one first you have to glue this part up here at the bottom and then we're going to glue the sides
and we are going to push this one to the front and just right on top you can press like this see and here this is what you have and this one is the closure i'm going to round the corners right here I will distress the edge with vintage photo. Now to make the closure, we are going to punch four circles of one inch. Then we are going to need two brads and um, thread. And if you want to put beads at the end, you can have one or two beads. And now we are going to put all of these together. And we are going to punch in the center. And I think the center is going to be here. See? Now we are going to grab two circles and we are going to put one of the brads there. And we are going to put the brad in there. And for leaving a little bit of space, I'm going to put my scissors. I won't cut it, okay? I just put my scissors to make space and then I open the brads. Can you see the space in there? Now, I'm going to um, do the same with the other one. See, I put my um, brad then I put the scissors in between and I open the prongs right here. And I open the prongs and I have space. Now you can cut this part up. Now you can cut the excess right here of the prongs. I'm using these scissors from the dollar store. <laughs> and I use it for anything that's super hard, like a metal or, or cheaper. Now we are going to glue one right here and the other one right here on top. And before you glue this, you are going to um, make a knot like this. And you're going to put in between of the two circles right here. And then you're going to pull. Pull very well. Now this is four and a half. We are going to put the first one right here at two and one quarter. And if you want it right here in the center of this flap, you are going to measure at two and one quarter. 
see so we have these two points in the center in the center of this space so we are going to glue this one right here right here And for this one, you can cut it up here. You cut this one, this part right here. And we're going to glue this one. And I'm going to place it up here in the center. Now, while it's drying, we are going to put the right here, the beads at the end. And this is how it looks. And as you can see right here, I put two beads. And then you open this one. And you have two pockets. And now we are going to attach to the cover. And I just put double-sided tape. I finished embellishing my mm, journal and I glue this metal piece from Tim Holtz and this is one of the words that comes in the kit and this is an embroidery flower that I had in my stash and I glue right here the ribbon same in the other side to uh, close the journal and this is how it looks see the finish on the spine now I'm going to show you inside and I just added a bow on the list pad and then this pom pom trim right here so it looks very nice <laughs> and right here I added a pom pom trim in some pages and lace in others so it can look very nice at the end right here this kit has lots of embellishments and I think I put in all of the pages. Like for example, this one is a little tag and I just added a brad. Then right here, then right here I added this candle. And look, this is a collage. You just glue some embellishments together and then glue them right here like a pocket. And then you have it. Then this is from my stash and I put it on a scrap of paper. Then right here, this is the envelope. And I use one of the corners that come in the kit. And look, this one is so beautiful. I made this tag right here with um, some scraps. And on the other side, I used the paper that comes in the kit. Then right here, there is lots of pages. I just put this one is um, a little envelope where you can put anything that you want, a little note or something. And I just put it up here so you can see. And then right here, I have lots of embellishments that I didn't use and i just save them right here and here is a pocket that looks like a file folder and i just added this snowflake and right here this is a leftover of a paper that i use and yeah you have some more um embellishments there then i'm gonna show you this is an embellishment this is our, these are embellishments and it's open so you can um tuck anything in there this is a, another embellishment that comes in the collection and it's a pocket a side pocket and here are two beautiful look at these 
uh, this is like a postcard and this one is a big tag that you can use like a mat for photograph on the back and I save it up here then look little embellishments that you can put here and there then right here here is another um, of the pockets that I show you how to make and another corner a tag and another big tag that I made then same with the other paper then here is another pocket that I made with just one of the embellishments and you have two more tags that comes in the collection then right here another collage and if you want to see all our embellishments that I put together you put them together first and then you glue them like a pocket see and you can put anything behind it looks very nice when you play with the embellishments here are more embellishments these two and then right here see you can hold tickets you can hold anything and here is another collage and you can grab uh, one of the embellishments and look you just put everything together and then just glue on the side see so beautiful right here i staple this one that looks like a stamp then another tag with a brad and you can use a lot of your stash like brads eyelets um staples a paper clips like right here there is another embellishment with a paper clip then um laces many things to embellish your journal look here's another embellishment embellishment and look right here this is open another embellishment from the paper kit here one more so you can add a lot more in your journal see another pocket right here and here are these beautiful embellishment to add more color then and right here there is the envelope that i made a pocket right here a side pocket and as you can see i put this um scrap of paper that i cut and i made a card and it looks so so beautiful and i can put it up here and right here i use an embellishment that is an a pocket and here there is an envelope that comes with a kit and look you can save some tickets that you can use with any of your um papers to decorate your journal right i use the paper from the collection and then right here another um embellishments that i put together to make a little pocket then right here is another embellishment looks so beautiful and i just added a paper clip so you can see and use it you can put it over there here is a pocket and then right here another corner and here is the other pocket and look a large tag and you can add a big picture in the back or you can write or glue anything here is a, a pocket from the kit see you can add more tags in there and here is room for picture or to staple anything to glue right here look how beautiful a tag and these embellishments that you can put together then here is another image that i just glued right here because it was big and i added a tag and yeah that's it with the embellishments in the journal now i'm going to show you what i put in the pocket in this pocket that i made 
I put some stuff that I made with the scraps. Don't throw the scraps. You can make beautiful things. Like for example, I cut all the scraps of papers that were like big and I made these tags and I just added this one with a punch that, you, that I use, but then these are the embellishments. There is this one, this one, and you can make tons of these. You don't need to print everything. If you want, you just can print the embellishments and make cards, make tags. Look how cute, see? And right here, I have some cards that I made with the scraps because I don't like to throw the scraps. You can use it for cards. And here in this journal, you have everything done for Christmas. Look, here are some scraps right here. And this is an embellishment that I put with brads. And it looks so cute, see? And here is another card. And as you can see, I just use four little scraps of paper and I put it together. And right here, it, there is another embellishment. And I just embellish with rhinestones and that's it. Here, I used a scrap of paper that I printed and it was a big piece. Can you see right here? So you can do that. You can print this paper and cut two and you can make two cards and print some embellishments and make cards. And this is a scrap of the papers that I use for the cover and this one too. So then right here, you can find this one in embellishments and I just put some glitter glue. Look, so cute. And this is one a part of the paper with words that I didn't use and I just glue it up here. And this is one of the words that I chose to um, put on, on this card and it's a celebrate and I just back with gold paper. See, so, so cute and easy, very easy. I can stay all day making cards using the scraps or embellishments. And I hope you can have some ideas now. And these cards measure four by five and a half and it fits perfectly in this pocket, see? and also the tags right here. So you can save some tags, you can save letters, notes, gift cards, anything in here and have them ready for this holiday. I hope you like this journal and you get inspired with all the ideas that I gave you. And if you want to get a paper kit, the information is going to be in the description box. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.